Hello, Victoria here. I am on a little vacation here in the mountains of North Carolina. I sure do just love it here. Robert told me to just do a little talking today. About colors. Yes I am talking about color theory. What a few colors stand for. I just thought I would stand out here in this beautiful scenery to teach my first lesson to you. Now first of all as you know I am not real. So I do not date, so don't even ask. Now that I have that out of the way. Let's just imagine that I am real and let's get into this lesson. First off the history of fashion dates back to the Bible days. This was a time when colors not only were hard to get for average people, but was very costly. The kings and queens were most likely to be dressed in these colors. It showed royalty and being rich. So let's talk about the color blue and what it means. Blue is rarely produced in the natural world. Because it has an amorphous presence in the expanse of the sky. It has been most commonly associated with spirituality, wisdom, and the afterlife. For instance the Romans employed blue in their system of academic robe colors to denote the station of philosopher. As it still is in the American system today. In Christian art blue is used to signify spiritual and pacific virtue. Blue was also the color of holiness. For the Japanese blue historically stood for spring and victory specifically, and it was also used for work and traveling clothes because it was thought to keep poisonous snakes at bay. Blue also has ambivalent and often contradictory applications in English language. Usually associated with melancholia, it has been applied to music. The blues, it has also served codes of conduct. The blue laws regulate private and public morals, especially Sabbath observance. The term is derived from the blue paper on which some 17th century laws were printed. This is just a few things that blue means. It is a primary color of both pigment and light. It also is in the color spectrum. And it goes on and on. So you can see a color can have a meaning not just a look. Let's take another color say red. Now here is a color with a lot of meanings also. Did you know that red is a primary color in light? is the longest visible wavelengths, some 650 to 700 nanometers billionths of a meter. Red's presence in prehistoric cave paintings, along with black and white, makes it one of the oldest colors used by man. Red ochre and eth pigment, was the ancient world's most widely used coloring stuff. The Egyptians used it to color their bodies, fabrics, and walls. Additional sources of red pigment in the ancient world were the Kermes Laos, for crimson, and the cochineal insect, for carmine. In addition to these natural animal sources the ancient world also extracted red dyes from many plant sources, including roots, berries, bower heads, barks, and leaves. Some other plant sources of red dyes are Brazil wood, beetroot, cranberry, safflowers, and orichello or orchil. Red is a sigiling. Attention getting color red is recognized as a stop signal. Except in China where red is a national symbol of COMM munism and where green means stop and red means go. Red is also used for warning lights. Did you know that insurance records show that more red cars are involved in accident than cars of any other colors? For this reason red cars are outlawed in Brazil and Ecuador. To end this lesson let's take a quick look at some more colors and what they mean. Blue as we talked about means, trust, but with negative kun notations in food. Brown is vitality, receptivity, and sensuality the colors of earth. Dark blue is peace, security, and contentment. Green is regeneration and growth, a color associated with hope. Orange is competition a color excitability and activity. Red is impulse and intensity, blood, and sexuality a youthful and forceful color. Violet is magic, imagination, and romance. Yellow is philosophical deed attachment, anticipation. In conclusion here class if you go to a restaurant that has colors of red and yellow that place is telling you by its colors to hurry up and eat and leave. Basically a fast food restaurant. If it is green and blue colors this place wants you to stay for a while and enjoy your food most likely encouraging you to buy more food, dessert, or drinks. You see the difference color creates and suggest moods. Even different fragrance colors create certain moods. 
So now don't just look at a color, try to figure out what it means or what it is suggesting to you. Okay that is all I have for you today. So until next time God bless you. And I look forward to teaching you next time.